Okay, that was a um, sloppy rendition of uh, Monroe's Hornpipe. By the way, it's good to be back. I've been very busy lately, uh, trying to shop around for some uh, other guitars. I've got two of them up for sale on Local Sales Network. Um, if you live around Cookville and you're interested, give me a holler on Local Sales or on YouTube and I'll give you the link. Uh, I don't think I'll be shipping them or eBaying them or anything like that, so I'm just going to try to deal with local. But anyway, we'll deal with this right now. It's called Monroe's Hornpipe, and the kickoff is a Clarence White um, kickoff that I learned off of Tony Rice's, I think, his Masterclass DVD. And it goes something like this. <laughs> kind of difficult. I mean, it's a finger twister. It's a G lick. It's kind of like this. But we're only dealing with the first four strings here. Okay, so here's what it's supposed to sound like. Uh, first string is, I'm capoed up to A by the way, so that you can see the whole neck. And if we're looking at this as if we didn't have a capo, this would be one, two, three, and so on. So at the third string capo, I mean at the third fret and first string, so it's uh, two, three, four, open, two, three, four, three, open, and then third uh, fret second string back to the open first string actually not open it would be the second fret so let's just work out in that little section there first That's the trickiest part because you want to automatically, when you're on this uh, second string, you want to ascend. But you're not doing that. You're kind of backtracking by uh, fretting that note instead. Instead of going, you're going. And from here, you've got the. Kind of like the uh, the thing there with a lot of hammer offs or hammer ons pull offs. Pretty easy. It's uh, third uh, first string, uh, third fret, and then open. Same thing with the second string, and then a slide third to second fret on the third string. Open. And then you're going to move up using your first finger on the second fret. You can either slide down or hammer on, uh, pull off. It might be easier to pull off because you're already in this position, whereas if you slide down, you're back here with your first finger, whereas you need to be up here on the second fret. string, set, uh, open, second, and then fourth. And then you got an open E string. So you're holding this to sustain it. It's just a, a chromatic walk down from the fourth fret third fret to the second fret on the G string. So it's the uh, fourth string, second fret, then open 
G string, third string. same concept as this. Uh, I always get mixed, mixed up at the end, but the way it should sound like this. When you uh, begin the whole thing. You just keep practicing that. If you have to, space that. Now here's the picking side. I noticed that I don't, I don't know if you've uh, seen that or not. It starts with the downstroke. So it's continuous all in the picking. The only time you don't is if you slide down. And that's two downstrokes. Time's getting away from me here. It's a long lick. I'll try to condense it if I can. Okay, for the main melody, it's uh, if we were to if you were to get on the last half of that lick, here's how it would go. Uh. You hit that. You open it with that D string. It's not alternate picking, it's a lot of hammer-ons. So it's uh, one down and two ups from the top to the uh, fourth string here. And then it's uh, the same thing. You've got, uh, like if you're playing a G, except I do it with these two fingers, because I play a G like this, so it's easier for me. Whichever two fingers, you're going to start with that root and go. Open A and then second fret. Open D. Same thing. Now we're in C. That's a that's a good little practice thing to do. And then the open D. Second to fourth, which is the same that we did in the kickoff. Same thing. Or you could go. down like that too. That's an upstroke. And that's difficult. That's all up, uh, alternate strokes. Maybe that was a downstroke. Yeah, it's a, it's a downstroke. It's all the second fret. It's open uh, third, open G string. Then you got a fret, second fret, D string. Open, second fret, A. Open, or not open. You do a lot in Gold Rush, too. That's what I do actually in Gold Rush. Thing. My time is up. I'm going to have to continue this uh, in the next lesson, uh, and we'll go from there to finish this off. See you in the next one. Thanks.